even now. Nearly 60 years after its invention. The RPG continues to see service worldwide one of the most iconic weapons of war ever made arose from Soviet experiences in World War II. When Red Army infantry had no answer to invading German panzers simple and effective. The broom-like RPG-7 became one of the most effective anti-tank weapons of the post-war period widely exported. The RPG became a symbol of revolution and terror. Fielded by armies and guerrillas from Berlin to Phnom Penh the Soviet Union in World War II had a serious problem, it had no effective handheld anti-tank weapon for its infantry The Soviet Army had hundreds of infantry divisions fielding as many as a million infantrymen at any one time. But individual grunts had little to defend themselves with from German armor such as the Panzerkampfwagen II and III The development of shaped charge anti-tank weapons dramatically improved the infantry's odds of stopping an armored attack The principle of the shaped charge was first demonstrated by Charles Monroe, a professor at the U.S. Naval Academy. In 1888 a cone-shaped cavity is placed against a slab of metal or tank armor and an explosive charge is detonated behind it the cavity channels the force of the explosion through the cone to the tip this enables a shaped charge warhead to penetrate armor up to seven times the diameter of the charge shaped charges developed for military use became known as high explosive anti-tank heat warheads the great advantage of heat warheads was that unlike traditional armor piercing anti-tank rounds they did not rely upon projectile velocity and density to penetrate armor A heat charge lobbed at a tank by hand had the same effectiveness as one fired from a high-velocity tank gun The German army was the first to field an effective man-portable anti-tank weapon. The Panzerfaust The Panzerfaust was basically a stick with a shaped charge warhead launched by a black powder explosion. And yet early versions could penetrate up to 140 mm of armor The final version the Panzerfaust 250 featured a reloadable launch tube and a pistol grip The Soviets took the Panzerfaust 250 and developed their own version. The Rushnoi Protovodenkova Granatomet 2 or RPG-2 commonly mistranslated as rocket-propelled grenade. It actually means handheld anti-tank grenade launcher The RPG-2 entered service with the Soviet Army in 1949 rocket-propelled. It had a range of 150 meters and could penetrate 180 millimeters of armor This made it possible for the rawest of recruits from the motherland to destroy the latest NATO tanks, including the American M26 Pershing and British Centurion. With ease the RPG-2 was widely exported abroad and armed both North Vietnamese Army and Viet Cong units during the Vietnam War The RPG-2 was followed up by an improved version. The RPG-7 in 1961 the RPG-7 had a slightly better range, 200 meters versus 150 meters unlike the RPG-2, which had simple iron sights. The new version had the PGO-7 telescopic sight, which had 28 times magnification, an illuminated reticle, and a sight reticle to assist in ranging and aiming at moving targets a cone-shaped blast deflector was added to the rear of the launch tube and a foregrip was added for increased stability the PG-7 heat round could now penetrate 260 mm of tank armor increased to 300 mm with the improved PG-7M warhead the RPG-7 enhanced the portable anti-tank weapon concept in other ways the RPG-7D designed for paratroopers Broke down into two pieces to make it easier to air transport new grenades included the AUG-7 high explosive round. Useful for unarmored targets and enemy infantry the advent of so-called explosive reactive armor. Which uses boxes of explosives reduce the effectiveness of heat rounds. Caused the Soviets to develop the PG-7R tandem heat round the longer. Bulkier grenade featured not one but two explosive charges. The first to neutralize reactive armor and the second to detonate against the armored vehicle itself The RPG-7 was issued at the squad level in the Soviet Army and the rest of the Warsaw Pact nations. Meaning every squad of six to nine infantry had one dedicated RPG gunner and his assistant This meant that a Warsaw Pact infantry company could mass up to nine RPGs to defend its sector at close range. In addition to anti-tank guided missiles thanks the Soviet Union's generous support of guerrillas and revolutionary movements worldwide. RPGs were also used in Central America, Southeast Asia, 
Conflicts throughout Africa and the Middle East RPGs were even used by the German Red Army faction in an attempt to assassinate an American general. And by the Irish Republican Army against the British Army in Northern Ireland in 1993. The RPG-7 was used to shoot down Super 64. A Black Hawk helicopter operated by the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment. Triggering the now infamous Battle of Mogadishu one of the most famous users of the RPG was the original Afghan Mujahideen. Who used them in great numbers against Soviet occupation forces from 1980 to 1988.